。潮玩飞镖 ，All about ducks。各位听众，欢迎你哋嚟到我哋今晚嘅潮玩飞镖嘅节目。诶、呃，我又系你嘅主持 Robert。诶、呃，今日响度嘅就系有我哋另一位主持啊，邦、呃、邦 James Bond 吓啊嘅嘅、啊、飞镖诶、啊、教练。咁今日嘅诶来宾咧就系、是、诶、啊、Larry Butler， 诶、啊、一个美国嘅诶选美国嘅第一。排第一嘅喺美國嘅飛鏢總會嗰度，咁誒佢亦都有個花名叫做誒、啊、叫做誒秃、啊、頭鷹嘅，咁究竟係點解咧？我哋或者會誒、啊、去呢個節目嗰度訪問一下佢。OK，Welcome,、okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to our show、uh, once again. This is、uh, all about dots, and I'm your host、uh, Robert, and、uh, with me is the co-host James Bond. Bond, bong bong, okay. Our our dots mentor, and today we have our special guest,、uh, Larry Butler,、uh, who is the、uh, number one rank、uh, person at the、uh, American Dots organization.、Uh, he also has a nickname called the、uh, Ball Eagle. So I don't know why, but maybe、uh, Bong will kick off with a question. But before that, say hello to Larry. Larry. Yes. Hi, hi, Robert. Okay, so、uh, say hello to our audience too.、Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Let's say hello to our audience. Let's say hello, audience. Hello, audience. <laughs> okay, and、uh, th- that's our guest, Larry. And、uh, now it's Bong's turn. Okay, Bong, you kick off.、Uh, maybe center around this ball eagle thing. It's interesting.、Uh, Larry Butler, the, ba- the American bald eagle in darts. How did you get、yes. this name,、uh, Larry? Uh, well, I was、uh, playing in uh, <clears throat> in uh, the very first world match play in 1994, and uh, the, uh, the, the at that time, I, well, I think actually through the history of darts, the most famous darts commentator was been Sid Waddell, and uh, I uh, I ended up winning that world match play, and by the time I got to the top eight, he started calling me the、uh, the bald eagle. At one at one point, he said that. I think when I was playing in the finals against Dennis Priestley, he said a lot of people thought the eagle would be stranded here, but it looks like the eagle's landed. <laughs> so, yeah, well, actually,、uh, the、uh, eagle is the American symbol. And、um, uh, can I、uh, ask if the ball, the part, has anything to do with the lack of hair these days or those days? I, I think it was both those days and these days. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. But those seems to be much younger days, don't we?、Uh, think 1994. That was when you were much younger. Yeah, I uh, I uh, lost my hair at a very early age. Oh, okay. Do you, you mind telling us、uh, how old you are and、uh, where you're from?、Uh, currently, I'm、uh, 58. Well, next month I'll be 58. I'm from、uh, Dayton, Ohio. Okay, well, that's a very nice city. I've been there, and、um, and you've been there、uh, all your life,、uh, born there and stayed there.、Uh, no, I I was actually born in Kentucky, and I、uh, I spent six years in the Navy, where I was traveling all over the place. I lived in、uh, Washington D.C. for about six years, and I lived in Boston for about six years, and I've been in Ohio since、uh, about since 1993. Well, this is all very interesting information. So let's、uh, inform our audience of that. 誒，各位聽眾誒，咁誒，我哋啱訪問呢個訪客誒，叫做亦都係叫做誒秃鷹啊嚇。咁問佢點解來遊咧？佢同埋佢嘅誒生平咧。咁首先嚟講誒，佢今年係五啊八歲，佢就響呢個誒肯德基州 Kentucky 出世嘅。咁佢亦都係做過美國嘅海軍誒隊伍嘅。咁跟住佢亦都係誒去過住過喺華盛頓啊、波士頓啊，咁樣喺一九九三年左右呢，佢就去到呢個 Dayton Ohio 嗰度誒住咗啦。咁而佢個名嘅來由呢，就係一九九四年誒嗰、呃那個世界誒、呃、世界比賽叫 World Match 嗰度呢。咁嗰陣時呢，佢就誒、呃呃、成功咁樣誒、呃、得到冠軍嘅。
。咁因為佢係美國人啦，你都知道美國嘅國徽啊、國國著啊，應該講咧就係、是、呢、這個誒秃、呃、鷹啊嘛。咁去到第最後八強嘅時候，佢哋話：，唉、哎，唔知呢只鷹捱唔捱得住呢？究竟？咁結果佢都係啊，唔知捱得住，仲攞咗冠軍。咁但係因為佢個人呢，就係、是、有少少秃頭啊，咁於是佢就同你起咗，佢哋同佢起咗花名叫做秃鷹啦。咁呢個亦都係好嘅故事。OK， so now um、uh, after all that、uh, very interesting introduction, uh, Bon, you uh, tell us uh, ask us uh, on on behalf we ask、uh, some more questions. Larry,、uh, you have been a winner of the several darts tournament. Of the、uh, American Darts Organization,、uh, how are you ranked right now in the、um, ADO?、Uh, I'm ranked number one in the ADO at the moment. How many times are you ranked in the、uh, ADO,、uh, Larry?、Uh, if I finish number one at the end of the year, it'll be my seventh time.、Uh, wow. Two more than two more than、uh, John Kaczynski and Paul Lim. Is this、uh, consecutive or over a couple of decades? This is、uh, from ninety ninety one to now. I、oh. I actually stopped playing from ninety six to two thousand six. Why is that? Back up in two thousand seven. By ninety six, I had had about fifteen years of in a row of playing, and I was just tired and and just I, I actually thought I was going to quit forever, and then but by two thousand six, I kind of got the bug again and started playing again. Well, one question that、uh, kind of、uh, comes to me because、uh, I, I guess it's just my nature、uh, before coming into this business is、uh, I, I pick up little things and I want to ask questions.、Uh, so, if you were in the navy for a、uh, time,、uh, does that mean during that time you can't play darts、uh, when you're in the navy? No, actually, I was、uh, stationed in Scotland for a little bit of that, and that's where I actually picked up darts. Oh, okay. So, what does that mean? That being in the navy and stationed in Scotland bring you into the sport of darts in、uh, 1977, around there? Seventy eight, seventy nine, yes. Oh, okay. Wow. Then you start off with、uh, in one of the best spots in the world, England, and、uh, you know UK in general and Europe, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, that's where all the champions and the high caliber pe- people. Are located. Not that we got some、uh, lousy ones here in North America. We got good players all over, but、uh, it's undeniable that the best players are in Europe and particularly UK. They certainly do have the.、Uh, well, they're they're they have more to play for, and they have、uh, you know more competition to to hone their skills against. Right, they have a large population, and then、uh, who are engaging in darts. Right, that's the main thing. And once you have that, then you you get more champions out from these people who are fully engaged. Right, so right. that that's the way it is. Okay, 咁誒，各位誒聽眾咧，我哋又要講一講，就係話誒。咁呢位誒、呃、嘉賓佢究竟誒即係點樣入行玩呢個飛鏢嘅咧？咁原來我即係即係最初我同佢講做一啲時候就話哦，原來佢去過係美國海軍嗰度喎。咁原來嗰段時間就大一九七七年，因為我諗廿幾歲嘅時候，佢就誒、呃、住咗響蘇格蘭啦。咁人都知蘇格蘭係誒同埋英國。係一個最好去飛鏢玩飛鏢嘅地方，亦都係高手最多嘅地方啦。咁佢有一個好嘅開始，我話。咁佢由七七年一路開始玩，但係佢由九六年至到二零六年左右咧，佢又停咗咯。但係佢由一九九一年至到而家已經係，如果今次衛冕成功係第七次做咗、呃、第一種子嘅喺呢個美國 American Darts o r g a n i z a t i o n 嗰度。Well, that's a mouthful, and now back to Bong. Playing in,、like、playing in the、uh, championship darts、uh, circuit,、uh, Larry. What's that? You have been you you playing in the championship darts circuit, and、yes. uh, you participated in the、uh, first circuit, which、uh, John Part won, and then you won the next one, the circuit number two in、uh, Mamisburg,、uh, Ohio. Yes.、Uh, can you describe how? How the first、uh, CDC circuit、uh, was held? I thought they did a, a, a pretty good job, actually,、um, for their first time.、Uh, I think it's just going to keep getting smoother and smoother. But、uh, 
they have uh, they have a pretty good handle on the format they're running. So um, maybe just uh, because I'm not fully engaged, uh, maybe you can also explain to other people here that uh, what what is the difference uh, circuit one circuit two. What the, what's the significance? Uh, well, it's uh, it's just trying to establish a um, some sort of a professional circuit in in North America. <clears throat> Uh, I think eventually, if it's if it's successful, I think they may even be trying to get some help from the PDC to to keep it going as well. So uh, the, the the PDC wants wants to have something working in North America that that works. Everything they've tried so far hasn't really worked that well. So is Circuit One uh, a better bunch of players or Circuit Two? I mean, what what is the difference between Circuit One and Circuit Two? Well, they. they it was the same players in both. It was just the first event and the second event. They have, uh, I think, about eight or ten events scheduled for this year, and then they'll have a finals, uh, which is September. I, I'm not. I, I don't really know all the details. I know that there's a final scheduled. I, I think it's uh, the, the date's been chosen. I don't think the location's been chosen yet. So, uh, just before we cut away and uh, finish off in the other language and the first segment, uh, so this is Circuit 1 and 2, uh, uh, is really uh, just uh, two different events, but essentially the same people, just two wrongs, right? Correct, yeah, they're, they're doing two events, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, two events per weekend that they, that they have a stage. And roughly how many people, quickly? Uh, I think it was, a, they're doing a 64-person bracket in each one. Okay, okay. Okay, then, um, I think at this time we're almost getting to the uh, end of our first segment. So when we come back, I'll do a little translation, and then we'll get on with the rest of the uh, recording. Okay, so uh, everybody just stay there, and uh, we just go to our sponsors and uh, advertising, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Okay. Canadian Chinese Radio Jet to Go Special. Fabio 运动除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multi Cultural Guard Association 主办嘅 Fabio 训练班，现已接受报名，享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同 Fabio 詹士邦亲自教导。五堂课程，包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions, equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一早刷新四十查新电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台出新歌，一刷再走，冇错过。潮玩飞镖 ，All about us。Okay, welcome back to the show, uh, All About Darts. Uh, I'm your host, uh, Robert, and today I have um, uh, my co-host, uh, Bon Bon, Jim Bond uh, of Darts, and uh, also my guest, uh, Larry Butler, the Ball Eagle. Um, 各位听众，我哋而家又翻到嚟呢个第二节嘅环节嗰度。咁、uh, 我哋今日嘅节目，当然系我做主持，阿、uh, Robert 同埋阿阿邦邦 Jim Bond 啦。誒、呃，亦都有一位誒、呃、叫做秃頭鷹嘅冠軍嘉賓，就係 Larry b u t l e r 啦。咁我哋上一節講到咩呢？上一節就講到有一個、呃、比賽嘅叫做、呃、叫做 Circuit One 同埋 Circuit Two， 即係點樣呢？呢、這個係誒喺美國呢、這個澳係澳洲，即、就、係、是、Ohio 嘅。咁呢，有一個地方叫 Miamisburg， 佢哋呢個組織呢。就誒、呃、組織咗誒、呃、兩個冠軍比賽，每年就提拔揾一啲誒冠軍級嘅人出嚟啦。咁誒呢個有兩個咁嘅系統，一個叫 Circuit One， 一個叫 Circuit Two。咁每一個咧都有六十四個人參與嘅。而家咁呢個項目咧就係、是、誒、呃、玩完一個之後就誒、呃、同一班人去玩第二個項目嘅，即係分兩日進行嘅。
。咁或者、呃、我哋繼續落嚟，繼續我哋訪問睇下啊,啊我哋阿邦邦對於呢位誒誒、呃、嘉賓仲有啲咩其他嘅誒問題。Okay, so we now get on with our、uh, interview, and、uh, Bon, you、uh, gonna start off. Larry,、uh, please、uh, tell the audience about the、uh, Darts Live、uh, Super Darts Wild Card Tournament in、uh, Tokyo, Japan. Oh yeah, it、uh, was a lot of fun. I, I almost got got in there. Was,、uh, unfortunately, I had to play、uh, Lawrence in the top in the finals, and、uh, I thought I played pretty well, but he had a he had a huge out. To,、uh, to knock me out right one round before I qualified for the Super Darts. Was it、uh, Lawrence Ilagan of the Philippines? Yes, Lawrence Ilagan. Yes. So uh, uh, let me、uh, cut in for a minute. So what? When? When was this tournament、uh, in Tokyo, Japan, that you guys were referring to? That would be.、Um, let me see. I can look it up on my calendar real quick. That was. Um, in March. 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 March this year. Yeah, March、yes. this year. Yes. And、uh, so、uh, you didn't you didn't cut the final. So、uh, where did you stood at the end of that、um, tournament? It's they, a wild card, a wild card tournament. Two, yeah, they had two spots, and they had a playoff down for the final two spots. And I I played Lawrence Logan in the top four. Okay, so you were in the top four. Yeah. Oh,、so、okay. Yeah, Won that one round, I would have been in Super Darts. Oh, and was there a lot of money involved?、Uh, I think it was about a hundred thousand dollars for first place. Wow, that's not Japanese yen, eh? Hundred, hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of that's a lot of money. Which、uh, brings up my my question very quickly: Is、uh, Larry, are you full time? You consider yourself a professional? Uh, I do. I do not really. I、uh, I'm an IT specialist. I have several companies that I take care of their uh, their uh, internal networks for and、uh, their servers. And a lot of that I can do on the road, road remotely and stuff. So it, it gives me a little extra freedom. Oh, I have that.、Uh, I have that IT、uh, experience too. So、uh, I can、uh, relate to that very well.、Uh, Yeah, I'm just surprised,、uh, you know, that、uh, you don't turn pro、uh, because、uh, we interview a number of people, and、um, they turn pro. But I, I understand that there's a lot of considerations.、Uh, do you have family?、Uh, do they support you、uh, even even、uh, as a sort of a semi-pro, if I could call you that? Oh、uh, yeah, I have a wife and three three young, actually three young children, much younger than、uh, what a fifty-eight year old should have. <laughs> But、uh, we, my wife and I, started late in life. So. Oh, okay. Well, you see that、uh, you know、uh, I get to understand that、uh, to be in this business means、uh, a lot of times on the road, and、um, you know you really get to have family support to do that sort of thing. Yes. Okay.、Uh, my my boy, he's he just turned eleven, and、uh, he has、uh, he's got more than a dozen、uh, youth adult and and youth singles. Titles himself that, that he's won. Oh, so is it in the、uh, is it in the genes?、Uh, is that your oldest kid, right?、Uh, my oldest is、uh, my fourteen-year-old daughter, and then、oh. I have eleven-year-old、uh, uh, boy-girl twins. Oh, so、uh, do you?、Uh, so your daughter play darts at all?、Uh, <clears throat> really, neither of the daughters play darts.、Uh, oh, but, but、uh, this guy, the, your your other boy, uh, uh, seems to be.、Uh, Picking up in the circuit—that's pretty good, eh? Yeah. In fact, he just finished. I think it was top eight in the、uh, in the blind draw at the Fiesta in Vegas. Ah,、uh, you know,、uh, ever thought about one day you gonna guys、uh, gonna form a team or something? <laughs> well,、uh, we we did play the the、uh, capped doubles. It was capped at twenty two. We played that, but、uh, unfortunately, we. Lost first round to Benny Dirch, who ended up him and his partner ended up getting getting. I think they ended up winning the event. Okay, well let me、uh, let me get through this、uh, for a second. Okay, 咁我哋就誒對我哋嘉賓訪問咧就講緊誒，因為阿邦邦問佢呢個東京嘅大賽嗰度講緊誒，當年係誒其實係三月十五誒三月誒一五年，即係今年啦，早幾個月啦。咁其實佢誒去到最後四強嘅。誒、呃，我哋嘉賓，但係誒、呃、無緣入最後嘅決賽啦。
，咁最後決賽獎項咧就係十萬蚊喎，哇！咁真係好勁喎。我問佢、啊、究竟佢會唔會誒誒係咪當自己係一個專業嘅飛鏢手呢？咁佢話佢唔係，佢有份正職嘅。佢話佢誒仲響呢個。誒、呃、資訊行業嗰度做即係啲電腦啊誒、呃、技師啦，咁佢亦都有一個太太，三個三個仔女。原來佢、呃、有個仔十四歲，另外誒十一歲誒，亦都係唔係佢個女十四歲，佢個仔十一歲，另外一個女亦都係十一歲，因為係龍鳳胎嚟嘅。咁原來佢個十一歲嘅仔仔呢，亦都係啊，好勁喎！玩飛鏢，佢而家誒喺呢個拉斯維加斯去到最後八強啊！佢個仔仔，咁我就笑我話誒，會唔會有機會佢兩個即係兩個做一個隊啊？即係父子兵上陣啊！呢、這個亦都有可能嘅。So、um, yeah, okay, now、uh, back to you, Bon. Larry,、uh, you you shoot nine darts、uh, finish before. Yes, at the PDPA Championship in Las Vegas, I think in two thousand and nine. Yes. What would be your advice to would be dart players to attend this、uh, nine dart finish?、Um, you mean which which direction? How how to shoot it? I mean, how are they going to take this、uh, nine dart finish like you did, and what would it takes to、uh, do it? Well, most most of the players that have hit it、uh, have gone the、uh, triple. You know, for the 141, I've gone triple 20, triple 19, double 12. I actually did it the same way John Lowe did the first one, which was、uh, triple 17, triple 18, double 18.、Um, but it, I mean, it's.、Uh, I, I haven't had too many opportunities to do that over the years. I did it. I actually missed the double 12 for the triple 19, triple 8, or triple 20, triple 19, double 12. I missed. The double twelve in、uh, at the very first world match play in ninety ninety four in my first、uh, the last game of my first round. How, well, how do you practice to attend this、uh, nine darts nine nine dart finish? What is your practice routine?、Uh, actually, the practice routine I've been doing, which I I would like to say I do it every day, but I don't. I, I do it for two or three days before a tournament. Is、um, I go. All the doubles, one through the double bull. I keep throwing handfuls at each one until I get two out of three in a handful, and then I'll move to the next one. And then I do the the cricket numbers twenty backwards to fifteen. Two two out of three in a handful before I move to the next one. Okay. Ah,、uh, 咁其实诶，阿、uh, 邦邦就问到喺二零零九年喺拉斯维加斯嗰度，我哋嘉宾咧。就試過誒、呃、九個飛鏢就玩完曬嗰個 game 啦，咁啊問對問到佢，究竟佢誒、呃、當初比賽嘅時候究竟有咩秘訣啦？誒同埋佢訓練嘅方法啦，咁誒佢亦都講咗誒好多呢啲出嚟嘅，咁咧我就唔喺呢度跟進啦。你大家如果想聽清楚嘅，可以會會帶聽聽呢、這個誒、呃、詳細嘅問題，咁就誒。呃至於呢、這個誒，佢、呃、究竟係誒，即係誒比賽之前幾多咩時候去去訓練咧？佢通常兩至三日前咧，佢就會集中精神去訓練嘅。And now we、uh, get back to、um, uh, more questions,、uh, a short one before we cut on to the next segment. Going back to、uh, World Cup、uh, in Germany, you were playing with、uh, Darren Young. A lot of dart players were asking what happened during the first round there, Larry.、Um, <clears throat> well, the, I mean, the、uh, crowd's pretty loud there anyway. It's something that most North Americans don't really get the experience of playing in in an environment where the crowd is so loud.、Uh, <clears throat> and then when a, when a doubles hit or when a one eighty hit, then the crowd gets very loud, much louder than than the regular. But it's the, the regular crowd noise is is. Doesn't really bother me. I mean, I, I kind of it kind of blocks everything out. <clears throat> But the noise from like when a doubles hit or what on eighty that gets that gets very loud. But what happened was the、uh, on each side of the stage they had a huge screen that you know the, it's a big hall and lots of people in there, but nobody can really see the dartboard. They have a big huge screen on each side of the stage which showed 
the crowd what where the darts are landing. You know, they, it's blown up for showing the dartboard. And at the end of our first leg, until the start of our, our fifth leg, for like three, three straight legs, uh, those screens went blank. And when those screens went blank, the crowd couldn't see anything. So they just got really loud and started yelling, basically, for those three legs. And unfortunately, I missed uh, two outs during those three legs. Um, I have to cut in and say uh, our segment is almost finished. Uh, let's continue this uh, right after this message. Thank you. Canadian Chinese Radio Jet to Go Special. Favorite 运动，除强身健体之余，仲可训练头脑，又可认识新朋友。由 Multicultural Dart Association 主办嘅飞镖训练班，现已接受报名。享誉国际嘅 Peter Scott 同飞镖詹士邦亲自教导，五堂课程，包用具，只需五十蚊。报名及查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。Learn to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 一早刷新四十查询电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台，上新歌，一刷再走，冇错过。潮玩飞镖 ，All about ducks。诶、呃，各位听众、呃，欢迎你翻到我哋嘅节目《潮玩飞镖》，我系你嘅 host Robert。喺呢度有我哋嘅另一位、呃、主持人啊，邦、呃、邦 James Bond， 亦都系我哋嘅诶专访嘉宾 Larry Butler，、呃、外号叫做诶秃头鹰啊。咁、呃、我哋啱讲到佢一啲、呃、比赛嘅最近上个礼拜比赛嘅问题。咁誒、呃，我哋翻翻去誒，繼續佢呢個訪問啦，講埋俾大家聽。Okay, welcome back to、uh, this segment of our show, All About Dots. I'm your host Robert, and、uh, along with Bong and our guest star、uh, here, Larry Butler,、uh, nicknamed the Ball Eagle. And、uh, just before we finish the、uh, uh, second segment, we were into、uh, this、uh, recent tournament、uh, last week、uh, by the、uh, Professional Dart Corporation. Uh, the World Cup in Germany. So、uh, let's、uh, pick up where we left off about、uh, the crowd noise and、uh, distraction. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, let's continue here, uh, Larry. Uh, yes. <clears throat> well, I mean, I I can't really.、Uh, I mean, I I know that that I would have had a bunch better chance of taking the out out if it if it wasn't for how loud the crowd was. But、uh, <clears throat> you know they. Any time anybody complains about crowd noise over there, they they say they're、uh, they're weak or whatever that they don't they're not a good player or whatever. Like it has anything to do with that. But I know、uh, I've been in lots of crowds in in、uh, Europe and England and stuff, and and they're、oh, they're always loud. They're never quite as loud as what that was, but they're always loud. But every every crowd that I've ever experienced, you know, pretty much anywhere else in the world, is, is usually very very、uh, professional. You know, good sportsmen.、Uh, <clears throat> I, I've never experienced that outside of Europe and England. Yeah, the the way I、uh, understand it was that、uh, this is a very large venue. It was like six thousand, ten thousand people there. I mean, I can't imagine that.、Uh, what is this? An arena or something? Yeah, it was like an ice skating arena. Oh, and then they had these huge screens, and when the screens go black、uh, because、uh, of technical issues. I thought you、uh, just call us、uh, stop, and、uh, since you're IT specialist like me, go up there and fix it. <laughs> right. Well, I guess they were they were broadcasting it on、uh, like Sky Sports,、uh, like other sports channel over there. Yeah. And, and I guess that stream was fine, so they just kept going and let the people in the in the hall scream because they couldn't see it. Oh yeah. So the local、uh, hookups to the screens were not happening. And people get upset because I don't know. Do they have to pay?、Uh, is that right? 
Oh, yeah. I mean, the tickets weren't cheap either. They were probably like 20, 30 euros a, a, a ticket. So Wow. That's uh, doubling. Really that will be 50 upset. to 60 bucks. <laughs> That'll be uh, 50 or 60 bucks, right? Right. Uh, uh, euros. So, how, how, uh, loud, how loud is the crowd that uh, it affects uh, any players uh, playing in the uh, aiming of the last doubles or something like playing? Uh, uh, how, how loud is it, uh, Larry? Uh, it, it, it was very loud. I mean, I, I literally felt my body vibrating because of the noise. Okay. Oh, so were the, were the crowd uh, kind of uh, partisan? Are they... Are they cheering on uh, specific people? I mean, this is Germany, so obviously, if there were any German players, they'd be cheering them on. But are there any other nationalities that they also uh, cheer on? Well, there, there's a big dark contingency that follows uh, uh, Raymond Barnevold and uh, Michael Van Gerwen. So they, were, they had a bunch of supporters. But I, I think we had some supporters there, too. I mean, uh, I didn't feel that we were outnumbered as far as who was supporting who. And I don't, you know, I don't think it was a, a who or who they were supporting issue. I think it was just they get, the crowd got mad because they couldn't see the screen. Oh yeah, and and that lasted how many minutes roughly? Um, it, it had to be uh, six or seven minutes, probably. I mean, it lasted through pretty much three three full legs of our uh, of our uh, seven leg event. So, well, this is uh, first time I heard of uh, such things and. Uh, it says a lot about the uh, quality and uh, mentality of some of these people. You could imagine that if this were a soccer game or something, they might uh, have a riot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's right. how that's well. how I feel. Okay, let's uh, let me uh, let me uh, get across to to our other audience here. Ah, cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi và hãy cùng chúng tôi xem lại lịch trình của chúng tôi trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại với các bạn trong một tuần nữa. 當時有成六千至一萬人喺一個誒、呃、溜冰場之類嘅場地嗰度進行，而佢哋嗰電視幕就誒、呃、喪失咗嗰個功能，大約六至七分鐘啊！但係佢從來未聽過咁古燥嘅、咁多嘅聲音啊，令到佢都有啲震撼啊，都可以講佢令到佢都有啲失咗魂啊，所以呢，就誒唔係做得咁好啦。咁其實呢一個比賽佢亦都係有一個、呃、入場費好貴嘅，大約二十至三十歐羅。哇、啊！咁即係唔使講，即係要成有成四十至六十蚊美金去睇呢個比賽嘅，響場外啊。咁啊，當然場外亦都有誒、呃、有誒、呃、電視嘅有線電視嘅專播嘅。Well, that's、um, that's、uh, certainly a very、uh, different story that、uh, we have in this interview. Now back to you, Bob.、Uh, Larry, you consider yourself as a amateur or non-professional dart player, but、uh, it looks like there's a lot of、uh, companies supporting you. Can you enumerate some of your sponsors so people will know how to get these sponsorships?、Uh, did you? Want me to name my sponsors? Yes, Was you could do、question? it. Yeah, you could do it. You could do it. Oh, okay.、Um, yeah, I'm. I'm currently sponsored by. Oh、uh, well, I'm a Dutch Live、uh, a professional player, and、uh, I'm, my main sponsor is、uh, Dynasty Japan, and I'm also sponsored by.、Uh, I'm a, a premium player for、uh, L Style Global, also out of Japan. Oh, okay. So,、uh, yeah, this is、oh, where. And and dart brokers out of uh, out of uh, Illinois. Ah,、uh, dart, uh, dartbrokers dot com, which is a dart supplier. Oh, okay. Or re resellers. Um. So uh, I'm uh, I'm a little、um, curious because、uh, you know in all of my interviews、um, uh, when people get sponsors they started to、uh, call themselves a、uh, uh, professional. <laughs> You know, and yet you、uh, seem to have enough、uh, sponsors around, and not calling yourself that. I guess there's no、um, no fixed uh, 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 definition of who's a pro and who's a, 
a semi-pro or amateur, is there? Well, I, I, you know, I guess if, whatever you want to make your definition of professional. I, to me, professional means that that's your, your source of income. And, and I don't see how anybody from North America... 30 years ago, darts was a lot bigger in North America than it is today. Uh, it's been poorly promoted over the last 30 years. And, and, and to me, in North America is the only place I know of that darts has gotten less popular and smaller over the last 30 years than it than. Everywhere else in the world, darts has grown, but not in not in North America. Well, I'm surprised by this view because uh, so far everybody that I've interviewed uh, did not express this. Uh, they seem to uh, want to impress us that uh, uh, clubs are expanding and they're doing more to attract. But uh, you know, how did you come about with that uh, uh, view of well, yours that it's it's contracting? I'm I'm pretty familiar with the numbers of the leagues around the country. Uh, uh, you know, <coughs> most most dart leagues in North America were uh, have lost 66 to 90 percent of their membership over the last uh, 25 to 30 years. Wow, that was not... very big in North America in, in the in the late 70s up through the early 90s. Well, that means that um, we we really got to look into whether this is a good healthy picture um, at all you know because uh, well, in order to in order for a sport to grow it has to attract more people that don't play the sport than it loses that each year that are playing the sport which is overcoming attrition and in order to do that you have to show people who do not play your sport a reason to want to play your sport right in north america for the last 30 years is it, everybody promoting darts has just wanted to uh, promote to the to the average player no. and not give any reward to the top player that's and rewarding the top player is the only way that you can attract people that don't play your sport because that's the only thing they're going to see is how well the top players are rewarded but uh, I can also see with the introduction of uh, soft tip uh, dots and uh, and uh, machines uh, it would uh, open up the sports again maybe not to the extent initially to what we have hoped for but uh that certainly will encourage people to play. It cuts down on the math. It lets you look at your opponent worldwide and um, with the proper uh, internet connections, and it allows you to uh, do all that. Yes, Darts Live is, is exception to what I'm saying. Darts Live is, is the, to me, is the only thing that's happened in North America in the last uh, 25 years that's actually tried to promote darts. They're, they're trying to offer rewards for the top players. And the, the darts by machine, to me, is the best teacher of darts that I've ever seen. Yeah, so there's uh, hope at the end of the tunnel yet. And, uh, okay, so now I would um, I would well, think... Unfortunately, darts live has been met by quite a bit of resistance from the at least the North American, at least the U U.S. vending market. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that they last long enough to survive that. But and I noticed, I noticed that uh, from uh, Bull Shooter... Shelty, uh, Phoenix Darts, and uh, Dartsman, and whatever uh, it is uh, in Asia right now, they are invading the American market, including uh, South America and Brazil. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that Darts Live is in trouble or anything. I just know that it, it hasn't, they haven't uh, been as successful in the United States as they had planned at this point. Okay, uh, let's continue the discussion as our third segment uh, is completing right now. So uh, let's come back later. Thank you. Okay. Canadian Chinese Radio Jet Tokar Special. Fabio Wan Dong, Chi Kang Sang Gin Tai Ji Yu, Zong Ho Fan Lin Tao Lo, Yao Ho Ying Sik San Pang Yao, Yao Multicultural Dark Association Chi Ban Ge, Fabio Fan Lin Ban. 愿意接受报名，响于国际嘅Peter to play darts with Peter Scott and James Bong Faldas at Multicultural Darts Association. Five sessions equipment included, only fifty dollars. Please call four one six four nine six nine six three three for further details. 
，就听新手入茶通电话：四一六四九六九六三三。华语电台就四个，一七四九冇错过。潮玩飞镖 ，All about us。Okay, welcome back to our show,、uh, All About Dots. I'm your host Robert, and with me is Bond here, and our special guest、uh, Larry Butler, the Bald Eagle.、Uh, right now, it's time again for our activities.、Uh, Bond, Canadian Open Darts tournaments on June 19 and 20. Mixed doubles on Friday, which is June 19, starts at 8 p.m. Forty dollars per team. Ladies and men's singles starts at 11 a.m. Thirty-five dollars per player. It is on Saturday. The venue is at Holiday Inn Conference Center, located at three two seven Ontario Street, Saint Catharines, Ontario. Two hundred fifteen, twenty fifteen British Darts Organization World Masters Invitation to both men's and ladies singles champions in October fifteen. OK， 誒咁誒呢度有一個、呃、叫加拿大公開飛鏢錦標賽，係誒六月十九號至十號嘅。咁裏頭有誒、呃、混合雙打啦，八點鐘夜晚黑，四十蚊一對。誒咁誒禮拜五嚟嘅，禮拜六咧就有誒誒、呃呃、女子單打、男單打，十一點鐘朝頭早，三十五蚊一位。禮拜六嚟嘅。喺邊度舉行呢？就係、是、喺 s t Catherine's、uh, Holiday Inn Conference Centre 三二七 Ontario Street。咁二零一五年亦都係、uh, 英國飛鏢總會、uh, BDO 誒、uh, 嘅世界誒錦標大賽。咁誒佢會喺十月誒二零一五年舉行嘅。June t w Saturday, play darts and fight against cancer. Four person team and doubles tournaments. 9 a.m. registration, 10 a.m. matches start. Only $40 per team and $20 per double. The Royal Canadian Legion is the venue, Brands 1, thus 42, located at 243 Coxwell Avenue in Toronto. A fundraiser tournament for Don King, in support to his battle against cancer. Darts players support fellow darts players. For information and pledge for donations. Please call four one six eight nine three five eight two one. Fundraiser for Don King at Yahoo dot ca. 嗱咁咧，六月廿七号礼拜六咧，亦都有一个诶比赛啊。呢、呃这个比赛咧系诶对抗癌症筹款嘅。咁有个亦都有诶四人队啊，同埋诶双人队嘅。九点钟开始报名，十点钟朝头早开始比赛。咁呢誒、呃、隊咧就四十蚊一隊，誒、呃、如果係雙打呢，就二十蚊一隊。咁邊度舉行呢？就係喺誒呢個 Royal Canadian Legion 啦，誒二百四十三號 Coxwell Avenue， 誒、呃、多倫多。咁誒呢一個係正如係癌症抗癌症嘅籌款啦。咁誒亦都係如果需要咩資料或者係捐款嘅呢，可以打電話去四一六誒八九三五八二一。亦都可以去電郵去呢個 fundraiser for Don King at yahoo dot ca 嘅。Okay, and now、uh, let me、um, continue a little bit、uh, first in Chinese on the, the finish of the last segment、uh,。各位誒、uh, 聽眾，我哋啱誒上一次誒、uh, 休息之前講到誒、uh, 究竟誒誒、uh, uh, 我哋呢位嘉賓佢係咪算做職業誒、uh, 飛鏢手咧？原來佢都有好幾個誒、uh, 人去支持佢贊助佢嘅。誒、uh, 日本嗰度有一個叫 Dynasty Japan 咧，亦都有一個叫做誒 Dot Broker Dot Com 係即係專賣呢、這個誒、uh, 飛鏢儀器嘅，亦都有幾位選手贊助佢嘅。咁但係有一度好奇怪嘅就係呢位誒呢、uh, 位嘉賓呢，佢話而家誒嘅誒北美洲嘅飛鏢誒誒，以佢估計呢，係、呃、有少少凋零啊！即係咩呢？即係話誒。呃佢話有啲誒唔係幾膨脹，好似其他地方有好多新人入嚟參加
咁北美洲似乎就係減少咗添。咁最大主要原因都係因為冇誒錢啦，冇獎金嘅錢啦。咁佢嘅睇法呢，係同其他我見到嘅嘉賓係相反嘅。咁佢嘅理據就係覺得係咁樣。但係誒、嗯，我又唔覺得係啊但係佢覺得係佢咁多年咁，或者我哋都要第時揾一啲咩方法去證實下嘅。And now we back to、um, the continuation of our show. Okay, Bong, you got more questions for our guest. Larry, we are here at the Multicultural Dart Association in Richmond Hill, Toronto. We are teaching darts to all darts players from youth couples. For both men and women, how how are you? How do you teach、uh, young James to be a darts player at the age of something like 11 years old, and he's winning a lot of、uh, darts championships, Larry? <coughs> well, actually, we we won our first youth adult at the、uh, Stanford Youth Adult Finals、uh, when he was six.、Uh, they had a division that was from six to twelve year olds, and, and he's won that、uh, three times so far. Um, but from the time he was six years old,、uh, we would play.、Uh, I would play five on one, and he would play three on one. Where I had to win five games. If he won one game, and he could single out, I had to double out. If he won one game, he would be champion of the house.、Uh, if I won all five, I was champion of the house. But the catch was that he had to do the math for every game for both of us. So he had to do all the subtraction from from the time he was six years old. Uh, just uh, one uh, question in my mind, and maybe I I haven't really、uh, gone to、uh, tournaments or playing for kids so small at six years old.、Um, is any、um, any particular、uh, advantage for them? Like, can they stand closer to the board?、Um, actually,、uh, I've never. He's always stood at the line. I've never. Never had him stand at the board.、Uh, no, is it allowed by rules?、Uh, he would have to、uh, always play behind the line like everybody else.、Um, for the national, for the national finals, yes. So in local tournaments,、uh, sometimes、uh, they allow people who are really, really young to get closer. No.、Uh, <clears throat> usually, if、um, if a、uh, a child is learning and they're not very good. And they have a foot over the line or something. No, nobody re- really says anything. But、uh, oh, okay. But it wasn't a particular, you know, it was like playing golf. We got the ladies' tee. You know what I mean? So、uh, they are a little closer to the、uh, to the hole, right? But、uh, there is no such thing、uh, for little kids, right? I mean, we turn a little blind eye if they overstep、uh, half a foot、right. or something, right? We would call them out and say, "Hey, you step over the line. That doesn't count." <laughs> right. Okay, well, that's a very interesting、um, uh, thing that uh, uh, you just told us. So、um, I think just during the break we talked about this too. What's your advice to、uh, people who uh, who are、uh, starting young and、uh, and want to、uh, further in this uh, sport, uh, the, the practice and approach and so forth? Well, I, I mean, I, one thing I, I had James do when from the time he was six was just to go around the board, just try to hit a single. Throw the throw the three darts and try to hit two darts in the number that he's aiming at, and before he moves to the next number, just just so you can feel confident at being able to hit any number you want.、Uh, once you feel confident with that, then you can start aiming at the doubles and the triples.、Uh, as far as as improvement, I think you, you need to do something like that. Whether you're doing singles or doubles or triples, you know, the better you get, the more you want to challenge yourself, and.、Uh, The、one thing that's really cool today with the Darts Live machines is that you can get online and just play anybody. And you know, I would suggest you you try to whatever your rating is, you try to challenge people that are one or two two more, you know, one or two points ahead of you, so that you keep challenging yourself. Well, that's all very good advice because、uh, I mean,、uh, like any other sports,、uh, until you.、Uh, Meet somebody、uh, that could、uh, give you the pressure. I mean, yeah, it's okay. To, it's like playing golf.、Uh, you are counting on yourself and、uh, measuring yourself. But it's always different when somebody's breathing down your neck, and、um, and you could feel that they're gonna do better than you, and、um, you really want to、uh, put your best foot forward. Then, okay,、um, let me just、uh, very quickly go over this, and then.、Uh, Say our goodbye in the next、uh, bit, okay? 
啊、其實、啊、我哋同呢位、啊、嘉賓講講，就係誒佢嗰位公子啊，六歲嗰時候已經開始玩啦。咁係冇特別優待嘅，佢只不過有時搭界嗰陣時搭歪咗，過咗界啊，冇人嘈嘅啫。即係通常都唔會嘅。咁誒，亦、啊、都係佢話最初去訓練佢嘅最緊要咧，係要佢自己做個數目嘅算術啦。同埋佢而家十一歲啦，誒同埋呢個遠標啊，我哋以前都講過。係一個、呃、新嘅動向，係增加咗人去玩嘅。誒而家喺北美洲，佢究竟嘅究竟有幾大嘅、呃、引力？我哋而家都仲未睇得到。但係總之，如果你係可以通過互聯網同其他人比賽誒，咁、呃、當然亦都增加咗你自己嘅挑戰性。咁正如我哋所講，有挑戰性先有進步。自己如果係同自己玩嘅，永遠都係覺得。我而家進步啦，咁又點咧？我就可以進步到，即係冇一個壓迫感啊！即係好似我哋話、呃、打高爾夫球，啱啱講過就係話、呃、有幾樣嘢。第一就係、是呃、有女子嘅開開棍嘅位置咧，係近啲咁多。咁但係細路咧係冇優待嘅、呃。我而家先知嚇。咁咧仲有第二樣嘢咧，就係話誒，如果你有人同你玩嘅時候咧，就一定可以俾到壓力你，俾到壓力你，亦都係可以話係。可以令到你玩得更好。So、um, I think we got a whole lot of、uh, information out of、uh, the ball eagle today, and、uh, we really、uh, could benefit from all of this and、uh, learning a little bit about the guest himself. And、uh, Larry, I'm happy you come to、uh, talk to us on our show. Well, thank you, Rob. Yeah.、It. Well, I hope you、uh, and your friends will、uh, see it on YouTube.、Uh, After we broadcast it,、uh, probably tonight. I'm not too sure.、Tonight. Right,、yeah. and、uh, and then you'll be able to uh, uh, watch it in a couple of days and、uh, on the YouTube. Okay, thanks okay. for、uh, thanks、good. for joining us、uh, once again. And、um, what do you say,、uh, Bon? You have anything to say? T1 debut. See, he's、uh, his Chinese is improving every time.、Uh, <laughs> I one of these days he'll get it right. Okay, so once again. Uh, thanks for joining us.、Uh, 各位听众、uh, 我哋又到咗呢个节目嘅尾声啦。咁我哋下次再会。Uh, 我哋呢个节目就系潮玩飞镖，我就系你嘅 host Robert， 同埋我嘅 co-host 就系邦邦。再见，邦邦。再见，邦邦。再见，邦邦。再见，邦邦。再见，邦邦。再见。